but not everyone's on board with the ruling. Reporter Lisa Munoz met with some of the county and groups who do not see eye to eye. On one side, DA Bregman says encampments are dangerous, but on the other, organizations are worried about what this means for those who can't find a home and have no choice. Homeless laws, those homeless violations, it's because people are living outside that they almost have to do those things because what else are they supposed to do? The fact that these homeless encampments are, are not working in any way, shape, or form. It's not good for the folks who are homeless, and it certainly isn't good for the community overall. Ilza Biel is an advocate for people experiencing homelessness. She says it's no help to just move people, but one solution. Temporary living communities where p folks are allowed to stay, have resources, have bathroom facilities, have they have access to their caseworkers if they're moved around the whole time we lose contact with the folks that we've been working with so that we don't just keep on having to fundraise to get tents and sleeping bags and blankets and all the rest to give to people just so that all of that then gets into the dump trucks again and then we've got to do it again. But DA Bregman says these camps are bringing safety issues to the city. This week, a man was arrested for stabbing a man to death at an encampment and in the courts, two suspects were sentenced for their part in the murders of homeless people, one by running someone over and another shooting someone a dozen times. You can't treat homeless folks different than you treat everybody else. If they're violating the law, we need to do something about it. And if they're, if they're far too often, unfortunately, the victims of crime in these homeless encampments. The state Supreme Court is now considering the case over the city's ability to move camps and seize property. They say they want to consider the case more carefully. Reporting in studio, Alyssa Munoz, KWT Action 7 News. There is no timeline for a ruling from the Supreme Court, but on January 12th, the city will meet with the local judge. For